Hey guys, welcome back. It's the time we've all been waiting for, time to get Indigo. We may not have all been waiting for it, but I have certainly been looking forward to this time. We're going to go into the portal here, and you will see that we've got Femus, Ignis, and Yokozuna in there along with Indigo. I just recently six-starred Femus, and we've had uh, Ignis six-starred for a while now. Yokozuna is about 15, not 15, about 50 tokens away. But I'm fine with getting some extra tokens for him. He's in my defense group right now. And actually, before we do this, uh, I've had some questions about the My Dungeon defense. And so let's look in here. Now, there are a number of really good teams, and I think we're going to go over those more coming up here again soon. Now that there have been quite a few changes to the game, I think I'll get more uh, or get back into doing some of the dungeon rating uh, offense and defense sides. But if we look at the defenders, I've had this team for quite a while kind of in this order, there's a lot of benefit to having Yokozuna first. Um, and one of the biggest things is he is really hard to take out with uh, with your fast rogues. So I think by the time you get him to six star, and if you've got him paired up with Bovis Eldoro so that they both add up that warrior buff for their health, he gets a 30% extra buff on top of his already huge amount of health. Um, and it, it makes him really, really powerful uh, and difficult to take out. By the time he gets to 6-star, I believe that there aren't any two rogues that can take him out. And, you know, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that even if you've got Shadowblade and Willow, you can't take him out with just those two. You've got to have one more in there to take him out. Which means that you've dedicated three characters to taking out one, um, and that you know makes it for a really weak for the rest of your offensive. So... Now you can try to beat a team like this using three rogue uh, fast characters and then do Bovis Eldoro so you put everyone back a turn. But you've then damaged Tasumi and so he's going to be doing some really hard hits. And if he gets around to that second round, then he's going to do Soul Shred and just destroy the whole team. You've got Igo Rock and Bovis Eldoro in there that are really tough characters and just about fully starred. So it's, it's been a really effective team. We can look here quickly on the defenses. You know, I still get beat once in a while, but most of these are are victories, um, and there aren't that many attacks in general. You know, I hear some people talking about having bait teams, and I think there's greater or lesser success with that. Uh, but just a few comments I wanted to put on that before we got into the rolling. Again, we'll get more into that soon. I'm looking forward to going back and doing some more of those uh, challenge dungeon raids before too long. Let's go back into the portal and check this out. So this is the first time I've ever done VIP rolls. And I don't think it's probably all that common for a lot of people. You know, you've got to spend a fair amount to open up the VIP portal. So we'll go ahead in here and see what this looks like. I've got five that will be free. And that has to do with uh, a package that I bought for around Christmas time. They had this uh, package out and part of the package was getting five free VIP summons. So that's where they come from. A lot of times we get a fair number of questions on that. If you look at the hero drops, just to quickly explain this again, a lot of people are probably familiar, but we'll just take a second. There are only four heroes in the VIP summons each day, and it changes from day to day. And they're usually at four different levels, kind of according to where they uh, would have started on a star level. And you can see that here. So you've got Femus starts out as a one-star character, Yokozuna starts out as a two-star character, really powerful, but he's, you know, he only starts as two stars. Um, and then Ignis the Mad starts at three-star, and then you've got someone that's very difficult to get a hold of. So one of the, you know, a character that's considered legendary, or is only in this portal, or an event character, you know, those, that's the last one. So the idea with this is that for a lot of the people, when they get near the end, or they've invested a lot in the game, now, a lot of their characters will be maxed out, so you can get, you know, Femus for me is 6-star, Ignis is 6-star, Yokozuna is 5-star, almost 6-star. You know, if you get to the point where all three of those are 6-star and there's just one character you want to get a hold of, this is a great place to spend some gems, uh, you know, invest some of your time because you can focus on that one, you know what you're going to get. So we know we're either going to get Yokozuna or Indigo tokens or unlocks. And it looks like Yokozuna is token only. So that's not too exciting, but we'll get started and hopefully we get an unlock pretty quickly for Indigo. Do our first roll here. 
and Indigo, very first one. It's hard to hard to get too upset. Uh, I've had really good luck lately. I think the last couple times we've had new characters, I've gotten them on the either first or second roll. So Indigo on the first roll kind of makes me want to go right ahead and check her out. I don't want to waste too many in here because Yokozuna is token only. Uh, I really like having the full unlocks. I just want to explain it for a minute. If I keep doing rolls, I can go between Yokozuna and Indigo, and I like getting tokens for Yokozuna, but I'm not a big fan of token only, especially since this is the equivalent of 400 gems each. So I'm going to stop here. We'll come back and do more VIP rolls when there's another hero in or something, but for now, let's just go check out Indigo. I'm also getting really close. I get nine tokens a day for Yokozuna at this point. And I think I've mentioned it before, a special offer popped up there. But if we go down, before we get to Indigo, we'll stop at Yokozuna. Again, being the very first character that uh, the opponent's team's going to try to take out on my defense, he's got to have as much health as possible. So getting him to that 6 star is really important for me. So each day I go in here, and I run all three levels, and then I refresh them for 15 gems each. So I just go in, refresh it real quick, and then quick loot, and that's where most of my stamina is going, is for these last three characters that are still in the heroic portal. And in that way I can get nine tokens every day, which means it's going to be five or six days before Yokozuna is at that six star level. So very helpful for me. He's already fully ascended, and like I said, just a bear to try to take out. He's got 5,000, basically 5,500 health. He'll be up to, looks like a little over 6,000. But because of this warrior heart, and then Bovis Eldoro's warrior heart, you get 15% from each. They might add together to 30%, or it might be 15%, and then another 15% on that larger number, which would effectively give you a little bit more. But basically another 30% on 6,000, almost another 2,000 health, somewhere on the order of 2,000. That put him up to about 8,000 health, making it really hard to take him out. A lot of times, uh, those rogues will do something like 300 or 3,500-ish damage. And so you can see you might get up to like 7,000 with two of them, not quite enough to take him out. All right, let's go down to see this character. Now, Indigo's got a couple things going on. I think she's a pretty exciting addition to the team. At the same time, you almost never see her coming up in the dungeon rating. So she was a new character out a while ago. And it looks like I had seven tokens just from some of the events they had going on. She's got a chance to daze on her basic attack. Um, so it'll be interesting to take a look and see what that's, how often that procs and she's fast. She's got this rapid fire attack and 20% chance of an extra attack here. And so the trait I was looking for, which is right over here, I think, critical energy, this is the one. Critical energy, I think, is one of the most interesting things about Indigo in general. So when she crits, she does a energy boost to the whole team. So I think it's, it's kind of like Energize for Echo, yeah, he does on that skill, on using Energize, he gives the whole team two energy. On a crit, Indigo can give the whole team, I believe, one extra energy, which could be huge, especially when you put that together with the abilities that she gets, like this rapid fire, three ranged attacks, a chance for an extra attack. My understanding is that each one of those attacks has a chance for a crit, which could then, you know, give you additional energy for your team. It's only got a four turn cooldown as well. Uh, and it's strange that one, I haven't noticed that before. Let's take a look at another character. Just kind of thinking out loud here. All right, so those, those numbers are in green, the eight turns. And I hadn't noticed that, I don't know why. Maybe it just slipped by me. Usually the numbers that are in green can change as you upgrade the skill, but I don't remember any other energy costs changing. So anyway, we'll go back to that. If it does change, we'll come back and talk about it. Let's go ahead and see what it would take to get this last Evo and do her first ascension. 
Always takes a really long time after you press it for it to come back up. And we'll check out that last skill too. So Chilling Barrage, this is equivalent to what quite a few of the kind of archer rogue type units have. She has, she's going to attack all the enemies for some amount of energy uh, and then chill them as well. That's kind of the added one for her element type. All right, so the Bushido Evo. Let's go to combining them and see if we've got what we need. But we definitely have what we need. These are Spirit Evos. We've got 11 of them. And let's go ahead and combine one. Bushido's a nice... Uh, relatively rare Evo to get a hold of. So it's nice to know we've got plenty where we can make some more of those if we need to. And it looks like we're running a little bit low on these Monarchs, but we've got plenty that we could convert into them. Alright, so we've got everything we need for an Ascension now, and we can get that skill. Let's go ahead and do it. And she has ascended. Look at that hood. Now she's warmer. She looked a little cold before. Alright. So she looks a little cooler, and we'll check this out, her attack. Obviously, everything is super low since she's only level 15. I'll go through and up those levels here in a few minutes. Won't make everyone wait around for it. We've got lots of potions. I don't get to look at these usually, how many I've actually got, because there aren't any characters left in my lineup, uh, aside from new characters that aren't fully leveled. All right, so we've got that. What's it going to take to do her next one? So this... Is Mind's Eye. We need a few of those. And the Infinity Evo. And I know that's going to require some dark ones, probably. Let's take a look at what she gets. Sloth Shot. So, probably going to be a fair amount of damage, and it will slow the target. So that could be really effective in a number of situations. I could imagine something where they've got, um, actually, thinking of some really powerful combinations that I hadn't realized before. The kind of thing with, you know, we've got Yokozuna on my team that kind of holds up that whole party. You don't want to have, you know, if he gets taken out, then you can have Boba Saldoro push everyone's attacks back. So what I'm thinking is if I had her, which I now do, thank you very much, I could use her to make Yokozuna slow, push everyone back, and then I'd get to have um, Boba Saldoro push everyone else's attacks back. That gives me plenty of time to just otherwise use normal characters. But it's not the first attack, so she can't do that right away. You might be able to do that for the tower, if you're using her on the Tower of Ponage. It'd be great to have something like this, however incredibly overpowered, if it was going to be a first attack. So, no luck there, but still be a lot of fun to use, especially to try out on the Tower of Ponage. And until I can get her some additional stars, it's probably going to be hard to use her in very many situations. So we'll have to work on, on that. Wait till she's back in the portal and has only other uh, six star characters in there. So we can get tokens just for her. There are a few other characters that I'm looking to finish up as well. You know, Lord Zom is always one of my favorites. Once in a while he'll come back in. The health boost that we've got for slow characters now gives him just an enormous amount of health. He's up over 6,000, and on top of that, because I don't believe these show up here, he's got another 25%, and that's only for a four-star character. So if he's at 6,000, that puts him you know, over 7,000 after you have this undead heart buff on once he's in battle, and then once he gets those extra couple levels, or star levels, he's going to be even more powerful. So when he comes in, I'll try to be trying to use the VIP portal for him as well. We've got lots and lots of gems saved up. And I've mentioned this before, but I had some other questions about it recently. You know, why am I hoarding so many of these gems? And the biggest thing is waiting until I get these last couple characters out of the heroic portal. So Yokozuna is one of them. Lord uh, Life Reaper Brahm is one of them. And Phenol is one of them. Phenol, I think, is the furthest behind here. Yeah, about 170. Not quite as motivated with him as I am with Yokozuna since he's on the defense team. And then Life Reaper Brahm's getting pretty close as well. So once they're out of that heroic portal, the only thing that would hold me back from using all the gems would be just waiting until there are new characters out. Even though I've had really good luck getting those recently. 
but otherwise I can use the rest of those to continue to try to increase the star level for the remaining Heroic Portal characters. But a lot of these are getting very close. I'm going to run through all this gold pretty soon, and that should get me probably within 10 to 15 million of having all the characters in the Great Portal, the Great Summons here, freed up. So I mentioned before, I'm getting really close on that. All of those will be out of there pretty soon. Got to keep you guys in the loop for that. I'll show some more as that comes around. I got a little bit impatient. Apologies for that. And did some of these uh, honor summons on my own. No recording. Um, and now the only one I've got left is Kobol. So he's the last one in here. We'll do a little throw right here. So it has to be Kobol. Doesn't have to be an unlock, can just be a chest. But we should only see tokens for him coming up in there. Nice, and I think that's an incendiary, something like that. Uh, Evo that came up through there. So every time I roll that now, it's gonna be him until he's out of there. And similarly, he's also in the Great Summon. So if I get him out through the Great Summons first, then it will be entirely opened up. Uh, and at that point, there's not really any more benefit to dropping a lot of scrolls into the honor summons. The only other thing I'm using those for um, at that point is just getting more gold out of the shop in my dungeon shop and then also getting Ella Emerist uh, tokens in there as well. So that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. We'll see everyone soon. If you like this, then you're going to love what we have coming out next. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mobile gaming videos or check out the rest of the channel for more tips and tricks. If you don't have this game yet, feel free to download it from the sponsored link in the video description below. These downloads help to support the channel and help us to continue to put out more great videos. Thanks again for all your support, and come back soon as we continue our quest, seeking every possible advantage.